trying to do a new upload schedule. It's gonna look really nice. I just set it on the pipe right there. Hello everybody, friends, family. Welcome back to another video. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to work on the kitchen ceiling. I filmed a little bit of that yesterday to kind of show you what the game plan is. My goal is to try to get it done by Sunday because it is confirmed the guys are gonna be here Monday to do the floors. And since I have to prime and paint and sand one area of the ceiling, I don't wanna get sheetrock dust on the new floor and I don't wanna run the risk of getting any paint on the new floor. So I'm gonna start that and try to get that done by Sunday. And I did get a video out for you guys this morning or this afternoon, but I started it this morning. I am gonna try to do a new upload schedule. Since I started YouTube four years ago, I've not been very consistent in uploading and it's just because of life you know life you gotta live it it gets in the way sometimes of other things that you want to do it was always hard to film something and then edit said video and then get it out in a timely manner and a lot of times we were just living life and working and not had time to film anything interesting to show you guys i'm going to try to get a video out on tuesdays and fridays every week i think that that will work with our lifestyle because that will give us time to film and edit videos to get out to you guys on tuesdays and fridays so that is what i'm going to try to do but in uploading the video that i uploaded this morning i realized that i didn't really give you guys an update so in the last video i told you that we were kind of getting a list together of things that we needed to get from ikea to be able to finish the kitchen so the, we did that last saturday we went to ikea and we got um, everything that we needed i also said something about the toe kicks that is not correct so i want to correct that told you about the cover panels cover panels are acquired they're over there pointing right there cover panels i also said in the last video that we were going to be using cover panels for the toe kicks instead of the plastic toe kicks that come with ikea kitchens that is not correct. I thought for some reason that we were gonna use cover panels, but Dave was like, um, no, we are not gonna be using cover panels because that would be highly expensive because some of those cover panels are $185. That would be some expensive toe kicks to put all around the kitchen and the bar area. So no, we are not gonna do that. These are the toe kicks that come with the Ikea kitchens. So we are gonna be returning these. These are just plastic. So they're not very sturdy, they're kind of flimsy. What Dave has decided to do is use pine board. This is the pine board that he gets from Home Depot. They have really high quality pine board. He's gonna be using this board to put all up underneath the cabinets for toe kicks. I'm gonna be painting the pine board to match the cabinet, so it's all gonna be all together. It's gonna to look really nice. There's that update. Also, I told you in the last video that we were gonna to have to buy some more electrical cord for the lights that are up underneath the cabinets, so we got those. So in the last video, you guys saw the electrical cord that was just kind of hanging down um, in this corner. That light actually went to, or that cord actually went to this light here that's to the right of the microwave. IKEA also gives you these cord covers to cover up the electrical lines, makes it look nice, neat, and organized. So we got two extras. One goes to this one that's in the corner here, and the other one went to this row of lights that's underneath this cabinet beside the fridge. We also got all of the hinges that we needed. So this box is full of hinges. And we also got uh, the plastic pieces that go in those holes that you see inside of the cabinets. That is the update for that. All right, guys. So like I showed you in the other video, there was a hole right here. I have patched this with joint compound. Just like the texture that we bought to put in the bathrooms when we remodeled those, I bought some texture. This is called knockdown texture because that's the type of texture that is on our ceilings. The texture that is on the walls is called orange peel texture. So I bought some knockdown texture spray. That's what I'm gonna use for the hole, but this stuff does recommend that you prime before and after spraying this. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and prime the ceiling. Let's see. Okay, I'm pretty much finished for the afternoon. These are the things that I worked on. I think you can kind of still see it on camera. I'm not sure. I can see it through the camera lens, so I'm not sure if it's gonna come out on video, but you can still kind of see the water spots there. That is primed. Um, the hole in the middle is primed. The water spot that was over here is primed. And I also chiseled away at this concrete patch because there was one place where it was above the floor level. So you can kind of see right here where it's kind of rocky. That was above the floor level, so I chiseled away at that so that it's level with the floor. The flooring guy, Pedro, he's like the manager guy. He's going to be coming by here around 5, 530 so that we can kind of show him what we've got because he hasn't been here since we put all the cabinets up. The last time he was here was when we had the carpet laid. He's going to come by so that we can show him the cabinet legs and that the flooring needs to be put up right to the leg so that when the toe kicks go down on the front, they go down over the new flooring and pretty much just make sure that everything is good to go with the flooring on Monday and that we don't need to do anything else to prepare for that. Good morning, friends. Today is another day. It is Saturday, November the 5th. We are getting started on the kitchen. Things are happening already. I went ahead and sprayed the coat of knockdown texture on the ceiling. It's drying. It takes about two to three hours to dry and then I can prime it again. And then when that is dry, I can go and paint the spots that need to be painted because all the water spots, as you saw yesterday, are already primed. And Dave has already put the cabinet uh, that goes be beside the sink in place. I am not sure what he's doing now, but he's gonna, he's gonna explain it to you. I got the first cabinet in the island complete, kind of. It's not secured or anything, but I'm not doing that until I get the next cabinet in place. And then I'm not gonna secure that one until I get this done because I need it to be able to move a little bit. I cut a piece of cardboard to use as a template to put on the bottom of this cabinet so I can kind of mark where I need to drill in that cabinet. And it's, I don't think I'm gonna get it perfect. It's gonna be like, it's almost gonna be near impossible to get perfect, but it's gonna be pretty close. But that's what I'm doing now is measuring for that piece. Now you don't have to do this as far as screwing the legs uh, base onto the cabinets, but we are just for a little bit more stability because these do have a tendency to come off. So we're just securing them down. Ready? Yeah. No turning back now. There's a hole. Drilling the last hole. Exciting stuff. I just set it on the pipe right there. Got it all set. It's not secure yet. Don't have to do that. Looks good. There's a view from out here. Dave did a really good job cutting the holes for the plumbing and the electrical. With all the other cabinets, I did not show you the process of securing the cabinets together. So that is what Dave is doing now. You just want to get some clamps and clamp them as tightly together as you can get them. You want to make sure they are level with each other. Once I make this all one piece and I can kind of get it centered and everything. And I'm drilling pilot holes, but you don't have to do that. He uses a specific size screw because you don't want the screw to go through to the other side. So we're using... Inch and a quarter. So that secures everything 
together really tightly. And now we are securing it all down to the base. Dave's getting ready to make a little frame. For support for this. For the dishwasher and to be able to have some support for the cover, cover panels. panels. Then I'm gonna make a two by four wall right here. Because we are getting an outlet. In here, this is where the dishwasher's going. This is, going, this is my little frame wall that I'll have to tweak a little bit. Whenever we get everything in here, I'll have to run some brackets in here and kind of pull it. But yeah, it's dead even, dead even. Even got a little, put a stud in here so you can screw the outlet to it. Run the wire, outlet here. Good to go. I like it. I don't know if you guys watched the video a few, I don't know how many videos back. I'll try to leave a link to it up in the corner. But we talked about when you're designing an IKEA kitchen, if you have a cabinet on the ends, on both ends, you don't really have an issue with your end cover panel. Um, but if you design it like we did and you have a dishwasher at the end, you do have the challenge of trying to figure out how you're going to attach your end cover panel. So this is the solution that we came up with, number one. So we have something to attach the cover panel to and number two because we are going to be adding an electrical outlet, a convenience outlet is what the electrician calls it, to um, this side of the island just so we have an extra plug. We have the extra wire for it so we may as well do it because that's what the electrician planned for because if you have an island you do normally have at least one convenience outlet just so you can plug in appliances different things like that this is a solution for you if uh, you're trying to come up with how you're going to attach your end cover panel you can do this what's up everybody it's another day today's Sunday today we are in moving mode as you can see behind me the floors are getting done tomorrow so we have to move everything out of the floor that uh, in the areas that the luxury vinyl plank is going to be laid down. So that is what we are working on today. We're excited. Flooring, flooring happens tomorrow, bright and early. Once the floors go down, things will start really happening really quickly because then we can get the cabinets secured together, put the cover panels on, and then I can start putting in shelving, drawer fronts, cabinet doors. We have all the hinges, we have everything that we need so we can really get busy and it will come together really quickly. I hope you guys are all here for it because we are. And as always guys, if you like this content and you wanna see more, you guys know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, follow us on Newsbreak if you are not already, subscribe to us on YouTube and we will see you in the next video. This is gonna be an exciting one because we got the floors done yesterday. They're complete. There are some things that we need to do. 